we're going to learn how to make a laser microscope. We are actually only going to be using some pond water that you have, as well as a rubber band and a paper clip and a laser. And that's pretty much it to make our laser microscope. Now, in order to bend your paper clip, you're also going to need a pair of pliers. Well, the first thing you need to do is work on your paper clip. So you want to use your pliers and bend your paper clip into this shape. And let me show you how I did that. Okay. So the first thing I did was open up my paper clip. Okay. Like that. And then I opened this tail end here and I brought it up like this. And then I took my pliers to make a loop at the end. So now what you want to do is attach the wire to your laser by using the rubber band. Just wrap it around several times, okay? And you see my wires underneath. And then you want to bend the wire so that when you turn the laser on, the beam goes right through the loop that you made. And I'll show you here. So now I have the beam goes right through the loop and onto the table, okay? Now what you want to do is dip the loop, not the laser, into your water and so basically the loop is going to hold and kind of stretch out just a little bit that little drop of water that you've got and all you need to do is turn on your laser and you'll be able to see things. So use a white surface like a white wall or a ceiling and you want to adjust the distance that your laser is until the little critters swimming around come into focus and you'll be able to see some amazing things using your laser. So what sorts of things can you expect to see? Well, it's going to depend on what's in your sample and where you got your sample from. But you'll be able to see some pretty common things like amoebas and paramecium and so forth. Um, for example, you'll identify a flagellate by the way that it seems to like vibrate itself through the water as it spiral swims through your sample. Now you'll notice paramecium and ciliates like to glide their way through the water. The ciliates are the ones that look like long hot dogs. Now most microscopes have little dials and knobs so you can adjust the magnification. Now this microscope is much easier. All you need to do is go closer for seeing more detail but less mag magnification. And further away to see, you can also get some detail, a little bit less, but you can get a much larger magnification that way. And the closer you get, okay, the smaller the objects are, further away, the larger they're going to be. Now you can steady this by putting your laser on a pile of books or on a pile of blocks or something so you don't get the, the wiggly effect of trying to hold it um, simply in your hand like this. Okay, So there you have it, your laser microscope. Go ahead and give that a try.